Let's solve a problem that we used to do using complicated expressions from Newton's laws or one-dimensional kinematics and do so with conservation of energy. Suppose we had a pogo strip and it's fully compressed because there's a spring in it and we're about to launch up into the air. We're going to launch at some initial speed and the question is how high will it go in the air if we compress the spring by an initial amount xi. When we're on the ground, we have the spring coiled up with a value of xi that's not zero, but we are initially at rest. So we have an initial potential energy from the spring, one half kxi squared, but our kinetic energy is zero. And we'll assume that we know what xi is, how much the spring compressed. At a later time, the spring bounces out, and now it's at rest, it's, x is zero, it's not compressed or extended, but our pogo and we are moving with some speed v. So we have a kinetic energy, one half mv, mv squared, but we don't know the value for v just yet. Then the pogo and we are high up in the air, at the very highest point we slow to a stop, so v equals zero again, in other words our kinetic energy is zero. But now we have a potential energy, but not the potential energy from the spring, but rather a potential energy from being up high in the field of gravity. Our potential energy will be mgh. Using conservation of energy, we can again say that the initial kinetic energy plus the initial potential equals the kinetic energy at the very top of our arc plus the potential energy up there. Initially, our kinetic energy is zero. At the very top of the arc, our, our kinetic energy is also zero. And our potential energy at the beginning, one half kxi squared, has to equal our potential energy at the top of the arc, which is mgh. If we know xi and the spring constant k and the mass of the object, then we may solve for how high the uh, we will go up in the air. And that height will be kxi squared over 2mg. In this expression, the higher the value of the spring constant, then the higher up in the air we will go for the same comp amount of compression. And the larger the compression of the spring, then the higher we will go, which is entirely reasonable. And notice also that the larger the mass of us, then we will not go as high up in the air. Notice that we do not need to compute anything about the particular instant in time when we had left the ground and were moving with some speed v and yet had not had yet not acquired any potential energy in gravity yet because we were still at the level of the ground. We just jumped ahead and we solved exactly to the point where we wanted to at the top of the arc.